They hide feverishly as they're a prime target for Russian missiles. But if Moscow knew the trouble these US supplied Abrams tanks are causing Ukraine, they might not bother and let them keep them. The M1 Abrams, America's main battle tank, a veteran of fighting Saddam in Iraq and desert insurgents. But muddy Ukrainian fields and $500 attack drones, not so much. There was such a fuss around whether Ukraine would get these, but from the moment the decision was made, yes, through the training, through the time it took to get to the front line, the war has enormously changed. All 31 America gave are now in one area in the east where Ukraine is losing ground. Training in Germany, the interior in Ukrainian. And while there is gratitude for all US help, they can't pretend this is working. They've learned the hardest way here in the pitched battle for the city of Avdivka. One of their drivers lost a leg recently. Off camera, they show us how they're adding active armour plates on themselves. Then there are the shells. Not enough. Of the wrong type for the wrong sort of fight. Better than Soviet tanks, they still say, even though this one, fresh from Poland, is already broken down. Condensation can fry the electrics, they also say. Really, this is a solid gold wrench of a gift. This is a tank for a kind of war NATO would only fight backed by huge artillery and air power. They're being asked to do things NATO never would. One Abrams was captured and paraded in Red Square recently. The crew here joke, at least the Russians managed to tow it away. They've been struggling, as these are so heavy. This threadbare army losing ground, perhaps wish they got a gift receipt. If you could ask the Americans for one thing now, what would you ask for? Uh, Machines built at the peak of American hyperpower decades ago, sent half-heartedly, it seems, to hold back a fast-changing world. Nick Peyton Walsh, CNN, Eastern Ukraine.